Hello there! Today I'm showing behind the scenes of Ashes Vacation, my latest MMD video. I recorded the BTS footage months ago and I decided to show it off since that was the hardest work I ever done for an MMD video. Wanna know how it worked with the backgrounds? Here it is. So I took one of my vacation photos from fall to photoshop for editing. I wanted to improve it so that's why I put the photos there. I do downscale the image to 1080p with bilinear, but I usually do this after I tone map the image. The only tools I use here is shadow highlights to brighten the dark areas and darken a little bit on the very bright parts. It will almost look like an HDR image. I play around the settings and decide which looks the best on each one and what I remember seeing in person. I always save the image to PNG format to keep all the details clean and sharp. Now we are at MMD and the photo is already loaded on the scene. I played the animation to see how it fits with the background. My main point with MMD is that the background image is not on full resolution despite having a good GTX 950. The background looks downscale and not clear as I want it to be. I decided to save the image from here to show in Photoshop and compare it with the scene I already finished. The example is visible in 1080p video quality, but I'll load it to show you that the background is not that sharp. Look around the models and you can see that they are sharper than the background. Zooming in closely shows how blurry the buildings are with details lost due to MMD's way of loading high resolution background. I couldn't find an option to get rid of that problem in MMD. So I'm going to explain what I mean by downscaling the background. I am using two images on three examples. On the left, it is the exact resolution for 1080p and you can see very sharp edges and details. This is how the background are supposed to look for each scene. It doesn't look blurry at all. On the middle, you can see Ashley Pikachu resized to that small image and then it upscales it back to the original resolution. The details and sharpness is already ruined from downscaling and you can see the pixelated blur on the entire image. Look at all the jagged edges on both images and the stellar one has jagged edges all over it. This is what I mean by downscaling. MMD does the similar process for a background as shown on the middle but I exaggerated it to show how downscaling looks like. On the right, I manually blur the image from the normal resolution with Gaussian Blur and it is almost as blurry as the downscaled one, except it's not downscaled but a higher quality blur as you can see. For MMD, we want the sharpness from the left for the background and that's how it should look. Now I'm going to play a clip that I already did and compare it with the one that's loaded in Photoshop. The background is already sharp on the clip. If you watch it just in 1080p then you can tell that the background is sharp. Now let's go back to Photoshop and you can see the difference. I'll zoom both right now for people watching this in lower quality. Look at the background of both of them along with the models. Again the clip is sharper and I'll show you guys how I did that. So back to MMD I disabled the background for a finished scene and you're left with a blank background. Both the black and white backgrounds are transparent and I'll save both of them to show you guys the difference of how the black and the white one looks with the background added. Although this scene is for a video clip, I'm doing a snapshot for this example. Now I put both photos into Photoshop and I will add a background with a solid color. First I'm doing bright green. So now I'll show you guys the difference between a black one and a white one. Take a look around the edges of each model. The white one has a thin white outline around the models and the black one has the same thing. Since the background is bright, the black one is a bit visible, but the white outline looks a bit unnatural to me. Next I am repainting the background to magenta to show another example and the color is a little darker this time. Here's the difference. The white one clearly shows the white outlines around the model if you look at both of their hairs and the black one is not really visible. 
the black one has smoother edges around the mouse and blends a lot better and the white one looks more distracting. It looks like if it was green screened. Right now I'm going to add a background to both of them to show another example with a full realistic image. Right now you can see that the white one has noticeable white outlines on the edges and if you look at their hairs again, and the black ones blends a lot better. The black outlines are not visible and it makes the image look more natural of the background. The white one doesn't look good on photos like this so that's why I prefer using the black one on every single scene. Even if the full realistic images is bright, you can still see white outlines. Now back to MMD, I'll show you the settings that I use for recent videos and what I've been using. I use 1080p resolution and I use G shaders for MM effect. I always leave anti-aliasing on and I use Nvidia's inspector anti-aliasing method to have better image quality in MMD. Next, I'm going to show you guys how I add the background of video clips. It's really easy for me and I click render to AVI file. I always choose 60 FPS, I include audio and I use UT video RGB with highest compression settings. But to include transparency, I use UT videos RGBA and I start rendering the clip from MMD. UT videos have lost this video codec to have the exact image quality. Now I open Sony Vegas and I drag the clip there. I always click yes to read the exact resolution and frame rate. Sony Vegas supports videos with transparency data. To show transparency I right click and click properties and then I click media tab and on alpha channel I change it to straight or matted and I click ok. And now reset the alpha channel as you can see on the icons. I added the same background to Sony Vegas and it really works. I can add sharp backgrounds to a clip just like I wanted and now the entire clip looks beautiful. Here it is in full screen. Because the cripsiness, that's the method I do on every single scene on Ash's vacation. After I'm done, I render the video of the background and I save it along with the clip I rendered from MD and I change the name to keep both files since the clip is being used. I choose videos from Windows and I click customize templates and I put the exact frame rate as shown for the video render. I leave it as progressive scan and I set video format to UC video RGB with max compression. I enable audio to include with the clip and set the sampling rate to 48,000 hertz. After that, I click OK and I start rendering the video. Right now, after the recording, this method is new to me. I used to use debug mode frame server with MEGUI or MEGUI alone and now I start using Stackstrip as a more simpler tool. I use this to compress the final clips to have very low file size to keep disk space and still load to Sony Vegas. Since it's new to me, I play around with the settings that I'm familiar with. I use XC64 codec to encode the video and I use medium profile and I set the quality to 1.0 for maximum quality on either quality or quantizer mode. The rest should be kept. On audio I choose AAC codec and I play around with the says and I either choose QAAC or automatic with full percentage on quality or use 320 kilobits per second. Now I'm rendering the clip right now and see how small the file size is. I always use MP4 output so that Sony Vegas can read it. As you can see, it's rendering quick since it's a short clip. So the file one's at least 4 megabytes, and let's see how it plays. Okay, it's blank. Only the moving parts are somewhat visible. Now it's time to go back and change the settings. I changed the preset to very fast and it works well with very high bit rates. Keep the quality to 1.0 and I rendered the video again. 
The file size is slightly larger, but still very small compared to the lossless video. As you can see, the entire scene works and it shows everything, no glitches at all. Now let's load that clip into Sony Vegas. I click yes. It works, although the contrast is a little lower because on lossy videos like H.264 or XFED commonly have video size in limited range, 16 by 235 instead of full. So here's an example of limited range in full range. So what I do is I right click the video and click video event effects and I choose Vegas levels. I click the preset and click studio RGB to computer RGB. That way it will be presented as full range 0 by 255 and it will look the same as you play the clip on media players. It doesn't overclip the videos at all so nothing is lost. Wanna know how I provide four samples for my videos? I use AT&T's Natural Voices from Research Speech websites to use their text-to-speech program. On a box, there is multiple actors on there and I always choose 16K for best quality. I'm just gonna type Hello World to hear how it plays. Hello World. There you go, that's it. I use OBS to record a desktop and capture playback from the four samples. That's how I record them. Also, if you guys knew, I made my own original work called Yuki Story. I made this page since last year and I created this series three years ago. I started the comic panel shift of the series for the last years and it's still ongoing. Check it out if you like. Whenever Yuki and her boyfriend appears a few times during Ash's vacation, I'm gonna play a clip of Yuki's only line from that video. Wanna play catch with my toy? Sure. In the meantime, I am working on an animation of this series and try to think which visual settings are the best. I plan to make an ONA of this soon. Also, the place where it's filmed at is Barcelona, Costa Rica. Here are some clips to photos of it as well as the ones from a few years ago.
Stephanie, ¿cómo te encuentras esta noche? Súper bien, con muchas ganas de jugar y divertirnos. Yo también, pero espero que se vayan acercando más chicos como mi amigo que viene ahí. Pero mira, no podemos empezar a jugar aquí arriba, pues nos faltan los chicos. Así que chicos, los invito a que se vengan para acá arriba de una vez, porque si no yo me los voy a traer. Vamos arriba chicos. Sí, sí, esas pistas. 